Roblox the game's event finally came to an end. And trust me, it's so much better than you think it is. The map itself is pretty big, and like last time, we have quests that may or may not be fun. The quality itself is really, really good. And I think this is the best map so far. The quests were okay, but I think there can be a little more entertaining quests next time, since they got a little repetitive. The main problem are the items, since most of the them were layered clothing. But I think we can excuse them since the final few awards were a lot better, and I'm sure even if the items were accessories, people would have worn the better versions anyway lol. Now, it's time to show what made this both the best event this year, and also the sign of redemption from Roblox. Alright, one word, and only one. Fire! The map, the gameplay, the moves, everything was so masterfully crafted. I mean, look at the animations for 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. And best of all, this thing had a final reward. Now, not gonna yap about how good this was so let me shorten it. Team Atlas and everyone else working on this definitely listened to our complaints from the last two events, and I'll elaborate in just a sec. They did awesome in constructing the boss and the bandlands, so huge props to them. Roblox has teased it a bunch, and they used Zero Rothro for this, although they did use layered clothing. The hunt was a generally good event, although it got repetitive, and has way too many games and by the end an egg just plopped down. No boss, no cool cussing, nothing. It was pretty anticlimactic. The classic, at first was an amazing event, it had quests in the hub, and they were all so creative and fun to do. So yay I love the hub. You didn't even have to finish every single game. The only downside was that the games were rely time consuming, but the part that made everyone have a bad taste in their mouths by the end, was that there was a really boring boss fight and didn't even have a reward by the end. The games, on the other hand had a great map, quests unlike the hunt, and was pretty easy or quick to do also unlike the hunt. There was a boss fight at the end which actually freaking gave an award unlike both the classic and the hunt and the boss fight was 100x better than the classics okay I'll stop glazing on the boss the mechanics and things in the games like the teams and stuff were also a lot more fun and gave a reason for us to even do it at the first place so in summary the games had meaning to do the event a good boss and a lot more relevant things unlike the past two events The only two problems I have with the games are unbalanced teams and repetitive games. It was generally a bad idea making the team star creators, as it was obvious Creek was gonna win regardless. I know they tried balancing it by adding catch up bonuses, but it didn't really help. That's all I have for this. Now, isn't Roblox's fault, but the games. Quests the actual games were getting repetitive. They were just the exact same as the ones from the hunt and classic. I think the solution is to make the event mainly centered around the hub, and then adding like 5-10 actual trusted games to make banger quests, like a mix-up of 2018 Egg Hunt and Ready Player 2, but shorter. I think it would be fun personally. Well yay, those were my thoughts on the games event on Roblox. Hopefully you guys agree. Bye.